This chapter of the walkthrough is going to go over the copy wall feature in a little more detail. You are now going to add a second floor to your project by utilizing the copy wall feature. A portion of this feature was utilized in the assemblies chapter. This feature will allow you to duplicate an existing wall with the click of a button and make any changes that are necessary to it. Return to the Walls in Project screen. Make sure the north wall is highlighted and click on the copy button in the lower left portion of your screen. This will open the copy wall screen. This screen is a very powerful tool in your estimating toolbox. This screen will allow you to copy a single wall or multiple walls. If you are doing a takeoff on a multi-story building or a city skyscraper, this screen will allow you to make a copy of an entire floor and run it up as many stories as you like. For now, we are only going to copy the north wall and place it as the second floor of your project building. The first thing you will want to change is the wall name. Locate the name North Wall and change it to Second Floor. The next item you will want to change is the base elevation. The existing North Wall is 14 feet, so let us change the base elevation on the second floor to 15 feet. Next up is 3D Wall Placements. Checking this box will have the second floor copy in the exact same location or footprint as the north wall. Make sure this box is checked. Place a check in the odd course box and all of the wall's odd courses and banding will copy to the new wall as well. Go through and select nothing for openings and everything for verticals and rebar. You could also choose to copy just the schedules of these items and not place them. That is all we are going to do on this wall for this project, but there are several more features I would like to cover now. The lower half of the copy wall screen contains your options to place multiple copies of this wall at once. If the exact same wall is copied and runs up more than one additional floor. There is also the option to copy any and all walls on the Walls and Projects screen that are tagged. Check the Multiple Copies box and open up the additional options. Click on the Insert button and open Update Copy Wall Multiple Copies. There are five field selections when placing multiple copies. The quantity of copies to make, which is self-explanatory. The floor number of the first copy, which would be the second floor in this project. Increment floor number by will tell the software how many to increase each floor number by. Elevation of first copy in this project is going to be 15 feet, the top of your existing wall plus one foot. Now, for add elevation for each copy, you are going to take the height of the wall, which is 14 feet, and add the amount of space you want between each floor, which is one foot, thereby adding 15 feet to each elevation. Since we are not adding more than one floor to your project, you can click on the Cancel button and then uncheck the Multiple Copies box. Now click on the OK Copy Checked Items. You should now be on the Update Wall screen. All the information for the north wall is now duplicated on this screen and the description field should now read Second Floor. We had you leave the material the same for the purpose of this walkthrough, but if you have need, you can change materials and add odd courses as you like. Click on the Place Wall button to see the placement of the second floor. The second floor is now visible with the bond beam banding and your control joints showing. 
Click on the Place Schedules tab and you will also see your rebar running up the wall. We utilize a very basic wall with only a few material items to learn the copy feature. Now imagine this same feature used to copy a wall with 20 different material items, special pieces, and multiple odd course heights. This is an immense time saver. The copy feature works the same way throughout the estimating program. Walls, materials, and labor items can all be copied and then changed in this way. This concludes the chapter on the copy wall feature. The next chapter will cover importing and setting up multi-sheet 2D floor plans.